I remember when I was sitting in my classroom and I was always seen as the dumb kid who wouldn't go anywhere in life. And to be honest, I was pretty dumb because I slacked a lot, but I was also just disrespected by my teachers and my classmates. But there are a few things that I did to become a more respected person. And if you do them too, you will become more respected, especially with some of the things that I talk about a little bit later in this video. And the first one is you need to respect yourself. What will happen when you respect yourself is you'll start to take care of your looks. You'll start to take care of your work ethic and you'll start to do more things because you respect yourself. But if you don't respect yourself, then why would you do any of those things? You have zero self-respect. And when you have zero self-respect and then you don't take care of your looks, you don't take care of your work ethic, you don't chase goals or purpose and a mission, then other people will see that about you and they won't respect you because it's hard to respect somebody who doesn't even respect themselves. But once you do, you'll also feel significantly more confident. And when you do feel more confident, you'll act more confident and people will see that about you. And they'll respect you even more because of how confident you look and feel. So what I want you to do is first of all, do what you say. You have to build trust with yourself and you have to build trust with others. Because the thing is, if you don't trust yourself, you're not going to go anywhere in life. Because say you have a mission, say you have a purpose and a goal, but you don't trust yourself to achieve that goal, you most likely won't. But if you always do what you say, whatever you tell yourself you're going to do, you go do it. You will build up so much trust with yourself. And then once you build up trust with yourself from the smaller things, you can tell yourself something huge. You can tell yourself to go achieve a massive goal and you most likely will go and achieve it or you will die trying. But in order to build that kind of trust with yourself, you need to become the person who actually does what you tell yourself to do. Because nothing will change around you if you don't change. And how you're gonna change is through affirmations and visualizations. But you can't just tell yourself something over and over and over again and expect to change. Because what happens, this is actually really weird, your thoughts, they go down into like your brain cord and they stop there and they never go into your body. So you never actually become that person. But instead, you need to feel the feelings of who you are in the future, of who you want to be. And once you feel those feelings of who you are in the future and think the thoughts of that person and you start acting like them, you adopt all of the character traits as them, then you'll slowly integrate into that person. And all those affirmations will go down from the brain cord and into your body and you will become that person. It's really weird, but it actually works. And the reason why it works is because you need to know what it is like to be the person that you want to be. Because if you don't know what it is like to be that person, you can't become that person. So again, you have to have a thought and a feeling of that future self. And what I want you to do actually is just write it down on a piece of paper. Write down how he thinks, how he breathes, how he walks, how he talks, how he does everything. And again, just practice again and again and again becoming that person person. And another thing that you need to do to respect yourself more is have a purpose. Most people just walk around aimlessly and meaninglessly in life. They're like zombies who just grab their phones and start scrolling on them or turn on the TV and start watching Netflix. And they're pretty much mindless. They're programmed to do all these things and they're going through the program without actually doing anything meaningful with their life. But that's not going to be us because we actually want to achieve greatness. We don't want to be normal and average. We want to do something out of the normal. So you need to have a purpose and you need to dedicate your time, energy, and efforts to that purpose. Otherwise, you'll just walk around mindlessly like all the other people. You'll stay average and you won't respect yourself because you'll just be disrespecting your time because you won't be using your time for something that actually matters. And in by not using your time for something that actually matters, you're disrespecting yourself. My purpose is to help you dominate weakness and achieve greatness. And that gives me something to wake up to every single morning. That gives me a reason to keep on making these videos because I know that these videos could genuinely help you. And that's my purpose. My purpose is to help you. And because I have that purpose, I spend my time more wisely. Obviously, there will still be those times where you procrastinate and slack, but it's not about how many times you fall down to the ground. It's about how many times you get back up after each time you fall. And another thing is know what you are talking about. When you know what you are talking about, people will know you know what you're talking about. And because of that, they will respect you more. And since you know what you are talking about, people will trust and respect you more because you are more able to handle a situation better. 
because knowledge is pretty much just knowing information, but wisdom is putting that information, is putting that knowledge into practice. And through knowledge, you can have more wisdom and you can use that wisdom in the situations that are necessary. But first of all, again, the first step is having the right knowledge. So what I want you to do is continuously learn. You never want to stop learning because as soon as you stop learning, you stop growing and you get behind in the race and the other people who are learning the other people who are putting in the work and who are learning more than you will pass you in that race so you have to continuously learn from things like books or these videos which i've said this before and i'll say it again you're on the right path already especially if you've made it this far in the video you are on the right path so just keep on doing what you're doing but actually implement the information that I talk about and the information that you read because information is pretty much just useless if it's just something in your head that's not being used for anything. And another thing that you can do is teach the information that you learn. You can teach other people in the Discord community or you can just talk about it with friends and family because what happens when you teach a subject is you learn that subject better. Think about like a jiu-jitsu coach or someone who does martial arts. When he learns a move, He'll know the fundamentals of the move, but when he teaches that move to somebody else, all those fundamentals get more stuck into his brain and he realizes other things about that move that he didn't know before. So be like that martial arts teacher and teach other people the things that you learn so that you can learn them even better. And another thing is your reputation. When you have a good reputation, you can just walk somewhere and people will recognize you because you have built up that reputation over time. And another thing that will happen is new opportunities will come from that. Because if you are known as the guy who maybe keeps his word, who is honest and does what he says he's going to do, if you're known as that guy, more opportunities will open up because more and more people will know you as that guy. They will trust you more. They will respect you more. And they are more likely to give you better and better opportunities. And think about it this way too. Imagine the guy who is known for lying, who is known for manipulating the truth and not keeping his word versus a guy who is always honest, who never lies, and who always does his best to do what he says he's going to do. Who would you respect more? Obviously the second guy. So in order for you to become more respected, you need to become that second guy. So prioritize your word. You never wanna break it because the example that I've used before, and I'll use it again, is your reputation is like a tower that you build up for years and years and years. And you can build up that tower really high. But the thing is, one thing, one big mistake can come like a tidal wave and knock that entire tower down. You can apologize for making a mistake, but your reputation will still be hurt a little bit because of that mistake. So you have to do your absolute best to not break your word and to keep it consistently because the more consistently you deliver on your promises, the more your reputation will be built up. And something that can ruin your reputation and something that you need to never do is if someone ever does disrespect you, you can never react emotionally because only weak men react emotionally to situations. Just stay silent, be calm, and realize that they're probably disrespecting you because they are just insecure. So don't waste your valuable time on them because you have somewhere to go and you cannot get knocked off track. And once you do implement all these things, you will become more respected. You will respect yourself more and your entire life will change. Keep working hard to make your future self proud. Click and watch this here and I'll see you tomorrow.